Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the practical demonstration on estimation of amount of glycerol using paradic acid. Myself, Seema Maheshwari, Assistant Professor in Chemistry, Mataguchi College, Fatigarza. Let's start with the video. Today we are going to estimate the amount of glycerol by using paradic acid. Paradic acid is hygroscopic in nature, so it will absorb two water molecules. This reagent will then react with the molecule of glycerol and undergo carbon-carbon bond cleavage with the removal of two water molecules. We will obtain this complex. This complex then undergo carbon-carbon bond cleavage to give one mole of formaldehyde and glycolic aldehyde. The glycolic aldehyde still has one carbon-carbon bond with carbonyl and alcoholic group uh, at a vicinal position. So glycolic aldehyde reacts with another mole of paradic acid to form the complex which will undergo carbon-carbon bond cleavage to give one mole of formal formic acid and one mole of formaldehyde. So, from one mole of glycerol, we are obtaining two moles of formaldehyde and one mole of formic acid. This oxidation is called as malaprate oxidation. And for this, we will prepare black solution and the sample solution. So, how we will prepare it? For the black solution, we will take 5 ml of distilled water then we will add 25 ml of paradic acid and that we have taken 0.05 now and then 5 ml of concentrated HCl along the walls of the glass we will cover it and then we, for the sample solution, now again we will take 5 ml of the sample. Sample here is a glycerol. Dark brown color will be obtained. Now we will titrate it against hypo solution. First, we will obtain a pale yellow color. Pale yellow color uh, till that we will keep on titrating it with the hypo solution. So, how to do the, this? We will adhere some uh, hypo uh, on the uh, over it and then we will pour it. 
slowly and slowly the color will fade to pale yellow to get a very sharp indicator we will use the star freshly prepared starch indicator so uh, when you obtain this color then we will add freshly prepared starch indicator the starch will form a stable complex with the iodine and will turn the solution into a blue black color so we will titrate it until we get a clear solution so when we obtain this colorless solution we will note down the reading and the uh, same uh, we will perform for the sample and for the black solution in this titration we will use per iodate in excess the known excess of per iodate is added to the unknown amount of the glycerol some of the reagent per iodic acid will be used in the reaction with the glycerol and the unreacted per iodic acid can be determined by the iodometric titration and total number of per iodide available for the reaction can be determined from the blank titration which we have performed in this video the chemical reactions are as follow per iodic acid um, per will release per iodate ions and the ki react with the hcl to produce hi now the iodate ion and the hi react with each other to produce iodine and the iodine will react with the hypo solution to give uh, the pale yellow color which is uh, so we can estimate the amount of iodine released with the help of sodium thiosulfate using starch as an indicator thus from the moles of hypo solution used we can determine the moles of glycerol in the given sample thank you